Hey guys, John from FlyMikeAlpha.com, and today we're looking at the inner workings of a turn coordinator. So we can see we have an electric motor inside there spinning that brass gimbal or that brass weight around, and that is giving us a gyroscopic force. And you can see that although when we tilt this left and right, we get a little bit of indication as towards our bank, it's really more about when the whole aircraft changes its heading, showing us the rate of turn. So if I turn this very slowly to the right, I see a small rate of turn. If I turn it faster to the right, I see a greater rate. And it's just the tendency of that gyro inside there to resist the turning motion and in turn, turn it in towards a tilting motion that we read on our instrument. So it's an electrically driven instrument. We're relying on electricity to spin our electric motor there. And as the electric motor spins, it spins that brass weight, which gives us rigidity in space. And that rigidity in space is what gives this instrument its ability to tell us our bank or rate of turn information. Of course, we have the little red flag showing there because we have it unplugged from the electrical source. But when we plug it back in, that little flag would go away. So it is totally possible to have that little flag gone, have electricity provided to this instrument, and not have the instrument working at all because although electricity may be provided to make that little flag go away, the uh, motor itself could burn up or uh, basically the brushes could get old. And that's exactly what happened to this one. And that's why it's being pulled out of the aircraft and replaced with a brand new model. This one just has run for thousands of hours from 1991 till now and had plenty of black dirt from the worn out brushes when we pulled it out. So. Basically, you can see just your normal electric motor in there with your brushes and then your weight on this side and just that tendency of the weight to spin around and very fast creates a gyroscopic uh, force that gives you your bank information. And of course, our ball works regardless. That's simply just a slip skid indicator that as there's centrifugal force or in this case, just normal gravity pulling the ball one way or another, it's going to indicate. So. The ball does not need electricity or vacuum to run, and this little instrument is just as it says at the top there, DC electric, no pitch information, just bank information. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video, and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below. And remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.